I first met Jen, I knew she was going to be someone really important in my life. She was this big smile who <laughs> came bopping in when I first saw her. And it was this even bigger heart. And sure enough, Jen quickly became a sister to me. And in turn, I became her plus one to Thanksgiving. So I knew when the time came that Jen would find a replacement for my seat, it had to be a very special someone, someone with an equally giant heart. Charles, you are absolutely amazing, and you both are truly a match made in oyster and wine heaven. Much like Jen, you two are blessed with a giant, loving, selfless heart, a trait I very much admire in both of you. Over the years, I've had the pleasure of getting to know you, getting to spend time with you, and getting to love you. May you both keep growing together, learning from each other, being one another's safe harbor, making each other smile, laugh, and as Jen would say, taking each other's breath away. <laughs> Sweetie. I love you. I love you so much. You're my baby. Forever. Come here. Where's my wife? Jason said you look, look gorgeous. Look at her. You look beautiful. Come on. Come on. It's not easy for any dad to give away your daughter. But I have to tell you, we've hit the lottery twice. Marriage is a sacred ceremony. What we honor with reverence, we also celebrate with great joy. Married life, a shared life, is a true blessing. Now as Charles and Jennifer embark on this journey together, they will be able to nurture a love that makes each of them better versions of themselves. Love is not only a feeling, but it's an act of waking up every morning and making the conscious choice to choose your spouse each day. Charles George, I love you. I've known from the second I saw you. I knew this was going to be something special. And as I predicted, you became this force in my life, one that I never wanted to let go of. You became this rock, this comfort, and this man that I could depend on to protect me and our children every second of every day. You are my love, my best friend, and the man I want to share the rest of my life with. And although we both traveled very different paths, those paths have led us to each other and we were blessed to spend the rest of our time together. I promise to stand by you, be your partner, your teammate, and most importantly, your wife. I love you, and I will parallel play with you forever. <laughs> I originally had this all memorized, but as soon as you walked out, I don't know why you're here. <laughs> Thank you. Jennifer Brooke Lombard, you say me. In a very real sense, you are so full of energy. You bring me such a calm and place of belonging. I can live anywhere with you because wherever you'll be, I'll be home. You show me what love is supposed to be between two adults. And to add, you're the best dang thing the kids could ever have in a mom. And I can't wait to not only continue our adventures together, but to grow our family with more kids and to continue to grow as people. And I swear to always protect you. Page two. <laughs> I swear to always communicate with you and love you so, so much for the rest of my life. Now let's get on with this because I want to be your husband right now. <laughs> and I want to kiss you. I know, I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It is my honor to announce Charles and Jennifer as <laughs> husband and wife, lovingly wedded before God. Charles. You may now kiss your bride.
work he does for us. I love that my dad and Jen never fight. They just make things better for everybody. Now since Jen is a part of my family, I hope to do a lot of family activities together. I love you both very much. Everyone who knows Jen knows she has a heart of gold. It's so clearly evident when you're in her bubble of sunshine. To think of some of Jen's best qualities, you would have to look at her mom, Sue. They are lovers and they are protectors, but most importantly, they're mothers. Of all of Jen's qualities, she has one more that happens to be my favorite, her unfailing loyalty. She gets that from her dad, Jay. This is no surprise coming from a man who dedicated his life to serving our country. Here's to the Barons.